Hey guys, welcome back. I really appreciate you coming back and checking out this this knife. Uh, I just talked about the Meat Crafter, the new Meat Crafter, the OD G10 handle in the last video and how great it was gonna be for processing game and how you might want a secondary knife when you're going out specifically with the Meat Crafter if you're hunting or anything like that. So this video directly relates to that. So let's get into the intro and we'll just head straight over to the unboxing. Okay, so here we have the flyaway, the 15700 from Benchmade. Let's get this guy open. I'm super excited to see it. If you guys have spent any amount of time talking to me, you know I like my smaller knives. And this one looks like it is going to fit that bill. Oh yes, oh, oh yes. This is a cool knife, guys. This is the flyaway by Benchmade. Fly with me, come fly, we'll fly away. This is available for pre-order. Uh, the release is the 2nd of August. There's a good chance you'll be seeing this on the 1st of August, and then you'll be able to have it shipped to you on the 2nd. We're doing a bunch of knives consecutively. It's kind of the first time we've done something like this, so we're pretty excited about getting it done. So the flyaway here, super interesting little interesting little knife. The Boltron sheath from Benchmade, their, their black and orange combo. Big fan of the, the Boltron sheaths. I love the... Uh, the sturdiness and the stability this gives you. Oh man, check that out. That is a cool knife. Orange G10. I love the jimping on the spine. Good grip. Nice little lanyard hole. In the last video I talked about using the lanyard to locate your knife or to keep your knife from drowning by tying paracord to it and then a wine bottle cork just cut it in half and drill a hole through it and use that as kind of like a lanyard bead and if you drop it in the water it's going to float uh, i use reflective paracord on all my camping stuff so that way if i set it down and it blends in with the grass or you let's say you're out processing uh, deer elk or you know you're fishing or anything like that and you set your knife down there's a good chance that something can happen and you wouldn't be able to see it. Now granted, this one has a bright orange handle. The Meat Crafter that I mentioned in the last video, it had an OD'd handle. So OD's kind of hard to find when you set it down. This one's a little bit less uh, likely to get lost, but still a possibility. Use reflective paracord and tie it on there. So that way you can hit it with a flashlight. You don't lose your investment because I would hate for you guys to lose a uh, brand new Benchmade, or even an old Benchmade for that matter. So let's get into the knife a little bit. Super, super cool. Love the jimping on the top of the knife. It gives you nice, nice traction. That's super thoughtful. Benchmade's done that on quite a few knives. The Flyaway uses a CPM 154 for blade steel, so relatively easy for you to sharpen in the field. Not horrible edge retention and great corrosion corrosion resistance uh so we have a blade length of 2.70 inches a handle length of 4.28 an overall length of 6.9 inches so relatively small nice large handle comparatively to the blade size uh, really nice to get up on there and get in do some fine work like i was talking about you know doing that skinning getting into the joints and kind of carving around stuff great knife for that the weight on this is a whopping 2.1 ounces so really 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 lightweight again uh with that boltron sheath drop it in your pack throw it in your back pocket you know you can put a clip on it you can put a uh, uh belt loop on it you can tie it to you know use it as a neck knife uh, there's many, many different ways for you to carry this knife and use this knife, but ultimately what it comes down to is you're going to want this knife. This is a this is a great knife for, for what they've done here. Pre-order is live on the website. These will ship out on the second, like I mentioned earlier. Going to be a great combo with that Meat Crafter, so kind of a processing overall in the beginning after the kill. Uh, and then you get your, your meat crafter, uh, you go ahead and do all the final processing, you know, cutting the, the meat out of the ribs, cutting the back strap, that kind of thing. I think you guys are going to like this knife a lot. I love my smaller fixed blades, very handy, relatively stout, little lightweight processing knife. So uh, why don't you guys drop a comment below and let me know what you think of the flyaway. I 
10 out of 10 so far. I, <laughs> I think it's such a cool knife. I'll be excited to see some of you guys, uh, how you like to use it out in the field or daily carry it or whatever. Um, really cool little knife. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel here. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to, like I mentioned earlier, sign up for the newsletter. And uh, stay tuned here on our YouTube channel for part three. You're going to want to see this. Absolutely amazing knife. Probably my most favorite Benchmade ever is in part three. We'll see you in the next video, guys.